There are so many different systems in the world of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Do you know who's who? In this video, we will break down each type into a few different categories. Okay, so we have to start off by discussing local and central systems. Local systems are those that are located in the room or space they are serving, such as fans, window AC units, evaporative cooling systems, wood heating devices, baseboard heat, or radiator systems. Central systems have all of the mechanical parts outside of the rooms they are serving, typically in a mechanical room, on the roof, or outside the building on a concrete slab. The conditioned air is then distributed and delivered to the rooms being served. So, central systems can be split up into all air systems, air and water systems, and all water systems. All air systems use the most building volume since they require the largest distribution trees. You know, those sheet metal ducts that usually look like this. However, they do give the best results by regulating both temperature and humidity as well as indoor air quality. They typically concentrate all their mechanical equipment in the central mechanical room so that maintenance can be done without disrupting the building occupants. Some examples of all air systems are single duct VAV systems, fan powered VAV systems, multi-zone systems, single duct with reheat systems, and dual duct constant volume systems. The next category is air and water systems. These are the runner-up for consuming space in a building. These systems need supply and return distribution trees for both air ducts and water pipes. Since it's not all big air ducts, they are less space consuming than all air systems. However, they do come in second. These systems are usually found in perimeter zones of office buildings, hospitals, schools, and apartments. Some examples of air and water systems include induction systems, fan coil systems with supplementary air, radiant panels with supplementary air, and water loop heat pumps. The third category is the all water systems. These are the least space consuming systems since their distribution trees are made entirely of thinner piping. However, they typically can only deal with temperature control. Air quality must be dealt with a different system. The most common example of all water systems is the fan coil unit. Now keep in mind, there are also some environmentally friendly systems to know, such as geothermal ground source heat pumps and the concept of the economizer cycle. You can head to our website to get a free cheat sheet on everything we just discussed here. You'll find the link in the description below. You'll also find a link to our full length practice exams to help you get test day ready. And don't forget to share and like this video and subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time. If you want to see more ARE study help, practice questions, explanations, and tips for aspiring architects, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our website linked in the description below. You'll find full-length practice exams, our blog for aspiring architects, and our free ARE playbook.